Welcome to Work Smarter TV. In this video, I will show you how to do some a bit more with the date and time aspects of Excel. Um, first, a neat trick. There's an Excel function to show you the current date. It's like this. Today and brackets, nothing in between. Ta-da! Neat, isn't it? And as you can see, this becomes the result is again format cells number. This is the, the amount of days since uh, uh, 1 January, January 1st, 1900. All right, let's enter two dates. Um, let's say it is first of this is for me, this is 1st of February, and it's the 18th. No, let's make this a bit difficult. The 5th of February and the 18th of February. Now you have a, uh, a few functions. You have a function called day. You have, a, and it, this returns the, in, if you point that to a, to a full date, it returns the day which is the fifth in this case. Now again, if you have this in US settings, it will return to, <laughs> because it works the other way. And you have month and you have year. And you guessed it, this will return to 2013. Now we copy, sorry about that, <laughs> wrong key. We copy this, control C, control V. And as you can see, now it returns 18 to in 2013. Well, nothing special, but the thing you can do is you can say, you can calculate the difference in the amount of days, the difference in the amount of month, and the difference in the amount of years. Now this can be helpful sometimes. Let's see what happens if we say, we subtract, subtract these two. As you can see, this returns a normal number, and that's because Everything is days, uh, days since 1913. So these, uh, the if we convert these, you see. Note how this doesn't affect these formulas. We basically lifted the veil on Excel here. Um. So you can calculate with days. You could, could, of course, add them, but that would be a bit, I don't know, that would be a meaningless number. But if you want to know how, um, well, let's say this. I was born on the 3rd of June. Note how you can type dashes as well as slashes. And today is the 16th of February. So if I want to calculate how many how uh, how many days I am old? It's this is today minus my birthday. I am officially twelve thousand and three hundred and twelve days old. Now I'm going to quickly uh, end this video before you're going to figure out uh, what my actual age is. I um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can uh, leave them in the comments. Uh, you can also subscribe to my YouTube. Uh, channel and if you want to get email updates uh, and tips and it email it does when I post a new video and tips and tricks on how to use Excel in a smarter way uh, use the button in the bottom right corner to go through my website worksmarter.tv and subscribe to my mailing list there thank you for watching I hope you found uh, Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.